Welcome to Jetski Space. In this video, we're playing EVE Online and we're going to look at the EVE API. If application programming interfaces and Python are too nerdy for you, feel free to skip this one. But there is power in being able to interface with the EVE universe from outside of it. In my what to do in EVE Online video, I mentioned that being on the right side of gate bombing might be a fun thing to try. But what solar system would I set up in? I'm not as familiar with low or null security space as I used to be. Well, I use the EVE API to figure this out. Steve Ronikin has an excellent website, Fuzzwork, which I'll link in the description of this video. And it's here that I started, specifically by checking out the SDE. The static data extract is one of many features hosted at the Fuzzwork site. And I noticed that the list of map solar systems had a column called corridor. That's exactly what I wanted for my gate bombing project. Solar systems with only two stargates, one way in and one way out. The list also included the security status of the systems, so I excluded anything that wasn't low sec. I then turned my attention to the radius column. Ideally, I would pick systems where the stargates were far enough apart so that I wouldn't be seen on D scan. But Google found a seven year old Reddit post by CCP Fox4, hinting at the challenges of continual development of a now 18 year old game. Apparently, the radius values are mostly an unused relic and don't really represent anything important. So, okay, I have a list of 244 solar systems, which have only two stargates. That's better than the almost 3000 that the Fuzzwork dump started with. I suppose I could log into Eve and travel to them all. Find out which systems are large enough so that unsuspecting victims of gate bombing won't see me when they jump in. But this is a video about Eve's API. I use get solar system information to get the stargate IDs for each system. Then I got stargate information which gave me the positions of the two stargates in each system. When I googled distance between two three-dimensional points, I was worried I'd have to do math. But it turns out, if you know a bit of Python, you don't need it. And the same thread I mentioned earlier, let me know that distances are in meters. And conveniently, how many meters are in one AU. So using the Python program I was writing, I narrowed the list of suitable systems further, down to a total of 168. Keeping in mind, the list of systems started at almost 3000. So what else makes a system suitable for this kind of activity? Well a certain amount of traffic is required, so I'm not sitting around all day waiting for targets. And again, the API comes to the rescue. I can find that information out if I get system jumps. But I also don't want the system to be too dangerous. Both to give travelers a sense of security, but also to make sure I stay the predator and not the prey. That's where the get system kills API call comes in. At this point, the results look like this. Seeing Rancer and Old Man Star at the top of the list gave me faith that my program was working correctly. Those systems are quite infamous in EVE, and although they hadn't had any kills in the last hour, you can see that traffic is high, and they are indeed the type of system I'm looking for. I did remove a few, the ones I'll most likely set up in, but hopefully this video serves as an example of how the EVE API can be used. For me this was an excuse to practice Python, but it also narrowed a list of almost 3000 systems down to a short list of high traffic but not too dangerous options for me to have some fun smart bombing in. And I'll eventually post a video of me doing just that. Before I go, the blank space on the left side of this video was bothering me, some here's a taste of things to come. If you'd like more content like this, like this video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and yes, I am a robot. And this is Jetski Space.